Hello guys, welcome to Punk Hash. As global miners and enterprises continue to pursue computing power, the released heat rapidly increases, leading to considerable environmental pressure. We have been thinking about how to turn waste into treasure and should make unremitting efforts. This is the revolutionary product we are all excited about, the origin of the Avalon Nano 3 produced by Kanan. Interestingly, it is described on the official website as blockchain smart home. So it is clear that this is a household mining machine, or more precisely, the Avalon Nano 3 is a portable mini heater that can mine Bitcoin. We all know that Kanan is one of the world's top ASIC mining machine manufacturers, but this product breaks the mold and catches our attention. Previously, ASIC mining machines we saw were more like cold steel, but as you can see, the Nano 3 comes in five different colors, which I find very vibrant and not reminiscent of dull Bitcoin mining farms. We can see the shipping time. Now, if you order a Nano 3, you're likely to receive it in July. However, to let everyone know about the product in advance, I've managed to get a brand new Nano 3. If you're interested in cryptocurrency mining or are a newcomer to the industry, don't forget to follow Punk Hash. We have the latest product reviews, the most genuine cryptocurrency mining machine investment advice, and of course, understand your needs the best. We are definitely your best partner on the mining journey. Here we are with the brand new Avalon Nano 3, and I'm very excited as not many people worldwide have gotten their hands on it yet. Now, let's unbox it together. I received a black Nano 3. Although I really like the yellow one, I feel like black suits my room better. Wow, it looks great. It has a nice texture. Taking it out, and the overall feel is excellent with a certain weight to it. You can see an air outlet on the side. The interface is Type-C, and the bottom displays the product parameters, around 4 terahashes of hash rate, a maximum power of 140 watts. There's also a detailed manual in 9 languages. That's everything inside the box. There's no adapter, so I'll need to find a 140 watt adapter separately. Based on the machine's parameters, I found a 140 watt adapter. Note that if you use an adapter with insufficient power, the screen will display non-support adapter, meaning you won't be able to use the Nano 3 properly. So, make sure you have a 140 watt adapter. All right, let's connect and see what happens. The screen lights up, displaying the Avalon logo, and the side lights come on too. Okay, now there's a prompt on the screen saying we haven't configured Wi-Fi yet, so let's get started with that. One great thing about the Nano 3 is that it comes with a remote control app, perfect for beginners. Just search for Avalon Remote in the App Store, download it, and you're good to go. You can also download it from Google Play or scan the QR code in the manual, which is very detailed. Once the download is complete, open the app. Currently, no devices are shown because we need to find a Wi-Fi connection named Heater Nano in Wi-Fi settings. Then, go back to the app, click the Add button. Since we're already connected, proceed to the next step. Select your Wi-Fi network. Enter the password and click Save. Wait a few seconds and your Nano 3's network configuration is done. Super easy. Now, click on your Nano 3 in the app, and you'll see a remote control-like interface. Here, you can control your mining modes, low, medium, high, and also adjust the light settings. Stay, flash, breathing, or loop. The loop looks good, so let's go with that. It's amazing how they've turned a mining machine into something that feels like a household appliance. And as a heater, it's really practical. You can feel the warm air it blows out, perfect for those cold days when you're working or using your computer. Next, you'll need to configure your mining pool to ensure it's earning Bitcoin for you. Click on Mining Management. The pool address is already set by default, 
So all you need to do is register an account at Brian's.com to get your user ID and password. Then create a worker name. Let's say punk hash dot nano. Copy and paste, paste. Click save. And you'll hear the device automatically restart. Now go to your mining pool dashboard and you'll see the nano appearing, it's working. Let's wait a moment and check again. The hash rate has stabilized around 4 terahashes, and you can monitor your Nano 3's working status at different times here. Okay, back to the machine. Pressing once will cycle through data, logo, and time screens. On the screen, you can see the IP, time, power, hash rate, and current mining mode. It would be great if it could also display the current temperature. Just double-click the switch button to switch mining modes and you can even hear it changing levels. Another button can switch the light modes, although it doesn't seem to switch to loop mode. One more thing I want to show you is the air outlet. By the way, the air is really hot, and the baffle is removable, allowing you to see the chips and structure inside clearly. When you put the baffle back, it magnetically attaches, no need for a latch, just gently place it back. Many people are curious about Nano 3's profitability as a Bitcoin mining machine. Put in the hash rate, power, and electricity cost, and got our estimated earnings. Of course, when calculating profitability, both mining difficulty and the current value of Bitcoin fluctuate. My suggestion is, you don't need to obsess too much about converting it into daily earnings in US dollars. It's more important to focus on how much Bitcoin you produce daily. Currently, it's around 0.000003 Bitcoin per day. Not too much, but have you ever seen a heater that can make you money? I certainly haven't. And as for a Bitcoin miner, Nano 3 is user-friendly, even for beginners, and it's not picky about the environment like professional mining machines. Overall. I think it's a great product, at least, I really like it. What do you think about the Avalon Nano 3? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to PunkHash for more content like this. That's it for today's video. See you next time.